Today, we're making an iron farm in bedrock. Yeah, you heard it right, bedrock. And we're not doing anything fancy. We're just making a really simple iron farm in Minecraft bedrock edition that will give you about 300 to 350 iron per hour. And I need to find somewhere better than this to build it. This looks pretty good. It's relatively flat. There are villages close by, but they are further than 100 blocks away because you want no village or village thing closer than 100 blocks. But obviously you want villages close enough that you can bring a couple in because you're going to need two. You also want to check for caves and cave entrances underneath you because you need them to not have any. This one's got a little bit, so I'm going to have to fill that in. Because if you don't and an iron golem spawns underneath, you're going to massively reduce your rates because the villagers aren't going to think they need another one. That's that sorted. Let's crack on with it. This thing is literally just a hole in the ground. You want a hole that is five by five blocks and you want to dig it down 11 blocks. These are the things that you're going to need to make this farm, plus some of the blocks that you just dug out to make your hole. Take a screenshot, pause the video, do what you've got to do. Let's crack on with it. And once you're down here, get 10 of the 20 beds that you brought with you. It doesn't matter what color you use, but you want to put five beds along that way, and then another five beds along that way, and then dig one trench all the way down here. And then while you're in here, remove these blocks very carefully so you don't remove the beds. It's really easy to hit the bed hitbox and not the block hitbox like that, and then get another five beds and replace them there, same on this side. And then using some of the blocks that you've just dug out, jump up two blocks so as you're on the same level as the beds. And then create a five by five platform on top of the beds by placing a block there, there, and there, 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 and then creating an entire floor. Leave the middle one open there, and then finish off your five by five. And then on that middle one, place a jack-o'-lantern. That is gonna give enough light for the villager pod. Then get your 20 workstations and dig a little trench in the wall one block up. Now, a lot of people say fletching tables are the best thing to use for this, but I've found no difference between fletching tables and looms, and looms are so much cheaper to produce. You only need two bits of string and two bits of wood. A fletching table, you need four bits of wood and two uh, flints. So really, you should probably be doing it as cheaply as you can. You do need 20 of them after all. Now pick any corner and just pop down a bucket of water like that. This isn't gonna stay there. This is purely so when you lob your villagers in, they don't get damaged. Then again, using some of the blocks that you have dug out, jump up two blocks, then come to the side and lose the one underneath. Jump up, lose the one underneath, and continue doing that to the top. Time to bring in the villagers. Now you can bring them in in boats or you can bring in mine carts, it's entirely up to you. And you need to get them into your hole. Now obviously you could just nudge them in or drive them in, but that means you've just got to climb all the way back up again. Now in Bedrock, I love this feature. You can attach a lead to these boats and pull them in, which is just bonkers. Down they go, both they go. They sometimes get a little bit of damage if they land on top of each other. You can jump in as well, obviously because it's water, right? And then click on the boat and that detaches the lead. You've now got two guys who have already taken the workstations that are down here. Get rid of the boats, you are good to go. Now you can get rid of the water. And between them, you wanna give these guys six stacks of carrots. And they will start a bit of a loving. The hearts have already started and they're gonna bring in a little baby villager any second, just literally it takes only a few seconds to do this. And then these guys produce babies at a rate of absolute knots. Once that first baby is out, they throw them out like they're shelling peas. It always amazes me how quickly they breed in bedrock. It's much faster than in Java, especially if it's not work time and not sleep time. They don't breed particularly well at night time. The odd cat might join in as well. That is not a problem, it has no effect on the farm. You then just have to wait until there are 20 grown up villagers. Exactly like that. However, we have got a green coat, a nitwit in the corner. He is no use to us. All of our villagers need to be able to take a profession, otherwise it's gonna massively affect the rate of production of iron. So I need to um, put him on leave. My friend, you are going to a better place. And instantly we've got love arts coming up. They replace him. Fallen comrades, no one cares, do they anymore? No one cares, they just pop another baby out. You then need to find a free gap. Any free gap that you can actually place a block in. That one perhaps, yep. Yeah. And then come up to. Once you come up to, you can then build yourself a little floor just above these guys like this. Don't forget to remove the two that you columned up on and leave one of the corners open like that. Then get your hopper and place the hopper facing into the wall, just like that. Then dig out that wall twice and build yourself 
a three tall, but two by two square here. Then dig out those two, place down a chest there, shift click a chest into the side of that, so you've got yourself a double chest. Then come outside, you are gonna place one glass pane on top of that hopper using shift click. It might start raining, it doesn't matter. Place a bucket of water in the opposite corner to where you put the glass pane. Then jump over that glass pane, you might find a cat's already started to spawn, and put a glass block on top of the chest right there. Then put another glass block on top of that. Iron golems have already started to spawn as well, that is a great sign. Use a temporary block and pop that up there, and you then want some lava. We've now got two iron golems waiting for us. Put the lava on the block next to the button. Don't let the cat come in because the cat's just going to be a pain. Get out there. There you go, cat. Put the lava there. That is going to allow the golems to uh, burn up in the lava. It'll also make sure any cats get killed as well. You can then replace that with a block. Replace that with a block as well. And then under that block, put yourself a lantern just to light up this area. Get rid of your temporary block just there. And having dug up to the surface, you can go one, two, three, four and five like that and six for the top one then you're out and you can see what's going on down there your golems have already started to be collected and then this is completely optional but but you can put a lid of glass across this or if you wanted to you could trim it up with trap doors and open them that would mean any mobs would also drop in cows pigs sheep creepers skellies all of that kind of malarkey anything that walks across it will drop in so you get some extra drops however do be very aware that if you do do that and you get a skeleton and a creeper having a fight in there it could end up exploding the creeper and that'll put pay to your farm so be cautious what i quite like to do is place a trap door on the top of that so i can open it and close it so nothing falls down at all i also put a little lantern in the middle just to light it up from a distance the golems are flowing in now and there you have it, one really simple iron bedrock farm. There's nothing more than a hole in the ground, really. It's going to give you about 300 iron per hour. It's really simple to make, takes almost no resources. And as long as this chunk is loaded, it'll continue to produce that iron for you. If there are any other bedrock farms you'd like me to try and make, I'd love to have a go at them. I'm normally a Java player, but bedrock's quite fun. Let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you've not already done it. And that's it from me. I told you it was simple. I'll look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.